Well, we've finally done it. We have maxed out both of the uh, Entrati syndicates, or both of the uh, uh, Deimos syndicates, uh, the uh, the Entrati family, and uh, the Necroloid. Now, I just haven't gotten the final upgrade yet. So we're going to dive into Necrolisk, and we are going to talk to Mother, and reach the rank of family. Now, I, I've kept myself relatively spoiler-free, but I do know that this unlocks uh, a lot of lore about the Entrati family. So I wanted to make a video about that so we can cover that. So this is going to be a bit of a different video. There's going to be mainly a video where we just cover lore stuff. And... Uh, additionally, <laughs> oh, this is going to piss some people off. This is going to make some people slightly upset, but that's fine. Because it won't affect me, even though it affected some of you. They have changed the rewards a little bit for ranking up. So, it used to be a bit of a joke that when you reach the max rank uh, with the Entrati family, the only thing that you can get for it was a fish trophy. <laughs> however, however, in bounties, are you? that is no longer the case. They changed that. So, so let's let's check that out. We're at we're at maximum standing. Let us negotiate. We got the tokens. We got a cherry glass shard. So here we go. We're gonna rank up here. Shaboom! Now let's see. Earning the trust of hmm. this family. Is no small thing. Small what should thing. I pick? Should I pick the fish trophy that cost 10,000 standing? Should I pick that as my reward? Or should I pick the Cambion Drift Captura scene that costs 100,000 standing? I don't know. Which one should I pick? Should I pick this? Should I pick this? Ah, oh, it's so hard to pick. <laughs> so I'm sorry for everyone who has ranked up to family already and got the fish trophy. Um, because now you can get this instead. I, I know some people are going to be like... Demanding refunds and stuff. Or like, I don't know, getting it for free. <laughs> who knows? They're not going to give you it for free. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get this. It's going to be great. I'm going to be able to get so many nice thumbnails out of it. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. I refuse to accept this. My shard. Just one of thousands, dear. Nothing special. Be kind. She knew. Once. Deimos stole the memory. It's not some mystical relic of grandfather. It's just a bit of glass. Yeah, I mean, grandmother sells those it's by the dozen. I had left. Is it? No, father, I release you. Let me live for the sake of the living. I name you Gomaitru, the goblet. Gomaitru. Refilled. That's, that's a and name. You, we thank you. You've helped us to realize that even though we've changed, even though we struggle to understand one another, we are still a family. Yes, a family that would be honored to include you, Tenno. But Aww. what a name, this little star that fell from the sky and brought us together. You're going to give us a name? Ayatan. Perfect. Huh. Welcome. Ayatan. Welcome. 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 So, do we have a name now? Is that new? <laughs> I guess that's our name. It's interesting. We have those, uh, the, the, the Ayatan stars and the Ayatan treasures. But, all right. I guess that's our name now. Is that our operator's names? Who, who knows? So, go my true. Oh, well, that's a name. It's not as, not as hot. That's Kaylee. <laughs> but okay. Well, we maxed up. We're max rank. Woo, we're family now. That's great. 
That's great. If that concludes our business, I shall bid you farewell. Indeed. And uh just gonna check. Shoop shoop. Hi Lloyd. Welcome to our haven. And here we are also Clearance Odima. Which is currently the max rank, rank three. They might add more ranks to this later. We'll find out. We'll find out. Because it's a bit weird that that one only goes to three, where everyone else goes to five. So you might think that was it, but if it's uh, like, I don't know, other sort of lore stuff, I think what we have to do to get to it is we have to access our codex. So let's check that out and go to the universe. Probably fragments. So let's find out if we have anything new here that wasn't here before. Here is the uh, deadlock protocol stuff. I still have not gotten all of the uh, uh, Jupiter and Fortuna because ugh, oh, that's a bit of a grind. That's a bit of a grind. Okay, we got bounties. More planes vital on fragments. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And the pricks. No. It's not here. It's not here. So so where do I... Uh, where do I find it? Where is it? Let's find out. Alright, so after some digging, it's in here. It's in Lloyd's room. Or the, the Necroloid Syndicate room. Uh, and it is these... Uh, these Requiem symbols here, which are now accessible as the cosmic clock is, I guess, sort of, I don't know, doing something, awakening, who knows. And now you can access these symbols to play uh, to hidden hidden lore videos containing stuff with, uh, with uh, Grandfather Albrecht and Trotty. Let's check it out, shall we? Zata. Truth. It began long before us. We who now live our perfect and dull, endless lives. It began long before these moon palaces and body markets hurling around our golden sun. It began long before our light coil thinkers, our radiation wars, our oil, smoke. It began with us, the continuity and its twin, wanderlust. The need for unseen shores deep in our marrow. No judge, jester, queen or king can escape this old blood. We are nomads, eternal. And when no ocean, mountain or sky could contain us, our gaze hungered starward, afar, they mocked us with their brittle light, winking and jeering like dangling ayatons, forever out of reach, illuminating the truth. Immortal as we are, we die with the sun. That's where I come in. <laughs> yeah, because let's. I'm interested in digging deeper in this because I do know that, like in the dev vi videos leading up to uh, the release of Heart of Demos, uh, they they said, like I'm pretty sure Reb said that the Entrati family created the Void. Some people have, have like sort of misunderstood that was was like, oh, they they discovered the Void. They, that's not what they said. They said that they created the Void, which is far more interesting. He brings up continuity, which is also interesting, where it's like, yeah, you can just switch bodies. Why do you, in the Entrati, why do they keep on clinging to these infested bodies? Which apparently over time has made them lose memories and forget who they are. When they can just use continuity to jump into a new body. I don't understand. I don't understand. Alright, let's, let's keep going. Jahu form. My departure was a day less than any other. When I stepped inside the bell, I saw no crowd through its glass. 
No skeptical onlookers, no regal send-off. They all had given up on me and my paradoxical formulations. The wasted years had all shown the void to be just that. Nothing. No energy. No entanglement. No form. To spacefaring ambitions, a dead end. On the day, my laboratory was mostly vacant of witnesses, most of all of expectation. Only my sluggish attendants, my sagacious Kavat, Kalimos, and of course my daughter. I had raised her alone, but with inconsistent vigor. In those eyes, her mother's. I did see a terrible reflection. Of a man that did not exist. A brave and principled man about to make history. In truth, he was a void himself. An outcast, a joke, a nothing. Driven by my humiliation, failure had made me bitter and reckless. I would dive into the depths myself to prove them all wrong. I gave the signal. My daughter grasped the lever. Kalimos then belted out a desperate, rasping growl. But it was too late. Oh boy. So I guess it's grandfather who actually sort of like just is the is, is the person behind all of their research in the void. And not so much. Uh, the rest of the family, I guess, mother had a hand. Vorm. Order. The calipers yawed open the wall between worlds, stretching there a black trapezoidal gap. A door. A mouth. It yawned in the light of the room, splintering it to mesmerizing unearthly hues. And I, inside the bell, dropping obliquely toward it from my gallows. Mass and time rippled as a sudden vortex jawed before me. My head was vapor, my feet lodestone. The bell around me flexed like a rat paralyzed in a winding, gulping snake. I faltered in the awe of it, stumbling against the cellar glass, and with that shifted the bell's path through the wall. It grazed the caliper membrane, the edge of the door. No worldly edge was as thin, as sharp as could split even light. As the bell faintly grazed it, the glass was all at once rendered like strips of flesh by Dax Blade. My enclosure was beheaded in an instant, but still... I fell, sideways, into the void. Oh man, what if... <laughs> Is Albrecht and Trotty the man in the wall? <laughs> Not sure about that. We'll find out. Thas. Chaos. Death was on me, I was certain. I was face down, eyes clenched, my heart pulsing the last of its seconds and my lungs burning the last of its air. A sudden nostalgia gripped me. I grasped desperately for memory of a storm just past the fumbling pitch of a child's song. Yet all these thoughts seemed to steal away from my mind like smoke through a vent. I would die empty. I then became aware of another sensation, physical, a web of pain, needles itching into my arm. At once I realized I was alive, laying in the bell's shattered cellar glass. I groped the ground. One stone. The floor of my laboratory. So, I had never left. And so, I had failed. Again. I heard a crunch alongside me. Someone stepping through the shattered glass. With great shame, I gasped and rose my head to face my daughter above me. But as I opened my eyes, it wasn't her. It, it was me. The plot thickens. I don't even know what to say about this. I we have to keep going. Let's keep going and find out what this is all about. 
Riss. Light. The senselessness of it. The paradoxic, the vague, untimed form. I was alone, but not. For I stood there confronted by myself. A twin, but no brother. A reflection, but with dimension. Behind him, no horizon, but a vast broiling sea of caustic light pierced at random by black pin stars. And closer, around me, a gale of flowing vapor, profane in color, billowing relentlessly into the nascent lack, seeking all directions. I was standing on a precipice of familiar stone, jagged and unanchored as though cleaved directly from the very floor of my laboratory. I wondered at the vapor's path, smoking outward more, leaving behind now the walls, the filigree gold, the rare cuts of marble from my home. I knew at once the vapor's source. I turned away, back toward the wall, the trapezoid I had yawed into it. Vapor erupted inward at the gap, but not just from there. For as I rolled my eyes back, I saw the same. A great steam of scintillation smoking out from my skull. Dumb in awe, I faced toward my chimerical twin. He spoke. But what did he say? What did he say, Albrecht? What did he say? Kra. Time. An old name. Unspoken in the centuries since my mother reared me. A soft hiss, soothing as a viper's gaze. Little Bengo. The other me reached out, offering his hand, gliding toward me without moving, as though the distance between us was now collapsing. A confusion most euphoric filled my mind. With the shred of wit that remained, I decided that I should run for my life at once. Crazed and frantic, I fled, but I made no forward progress. Instead, the world compressed evermore around me, as though I were an anchor pulling the shore to reach. When I arrived at the door, or rather, the door arrived at me, I howled, hurling myself inside, out. And then and there I was, lost and unlost, Howling on the floor in harmony with my wretched Kalimos, lacerated in flesh and heart, scattered as the bell glass, spilling blood and stomach on the cold stone floor. But I sensed the other there at the wall's breach behind me, reaching still. I screamed, but my voice was gone. Forever. I looked, but my eyes would never see again. I swept my fist across the floor, snatching broken shards, and in gripping tightly, I filled my hands with ink. Close it, I wrote. <clears throat> so did he awaken something in there? Is he the man in the wall? <laughs> Is he the man in the wall? Netra. Decay. Time, to us, is all but conquered. Our sacred kuva moves us on to new skin. We numb to our daily, yearly trifles. And remedy those memories that bring lasting misery. With all our misdeeds, our excess, our indignity, we are haunted by nothing. But not for me. For with each passing day, there grew within a tumorous idea. It was minute in those early days, the pale reaching digits severed on the floor, studied with reverence, with greed. And it swelled larger in the latter days, the regal domes, the rail dedications, the unholy Zaraman parade. I had put the stars within reach, but at what cost? I never spoke of him, that man trapped in the wall. And while there have been countless souls who have followed me through with their light skippers and field wave skins and varied instruments, not a single one ever saw him. Me. And so it is that I will not take the Kuva now or ever again. 
This is the last skin I'm in. Because of this idea, that I cannot be sure, that in all that smoke commotion, in all that panic and fear, in that bending light and blinding dark, was it I who escaped? Or the other? Oh man. So, uh, I guess he met the man in the wall when he traveled into the void. Interestingly enough, if you look at this image, it is a, a picture of the uh, the reliquary drive in the railjack. The large finger of something held in tomb that, that like drives the, the void energy uh, that lets you, you travel to places in your railjack. So yeah, he created the the uh, the super highway, so to speak, between planets through the void, using the solar rails to jump between them. Um, and I guess the Entrati family is sort of like the the reason why we have in this world like interstellar travel. Um, but he he met the man in the wall on his maiden voyage into the void, which is creepy. There's one more we haven't done yet. Um, and no one else, I guess, met him until us. Uh, because, uh, well, because we know why. Because, because of Rel, because Harrow. Harrow trapped him and kept him in check. Uh, but, but he's been let out again. Um, but it, it's kind of, it's kind of scary that like, okay, fine, they didn't create the void. They just, they just discovered it. Uh, but it's fascinating that like, okay... The first person who discovered the void took the maiden voyage into the wo void and immediately met the man in the wall who was already in there. Ugh, that's... that's unpleasant to think about. Lok. Void. From brooding gulfs are we beheld by that which bears no name. Its heralds are the stars it fells, the sky and earth aflame. Corporeal laws are unwrit as suns and love retreat. To cosmic madness, laws submit, though stalwart minds entreat. In luminous space, blackened stars they gaze, accuse, deny. Roiling, moaning, this realm of ours, in madness lost, shall die. Carrion hordes trill their profane accord with eldritch plans. To cosmic forms from tangent planes, we end as we began. How about that? So now that we know the uh, the names of these, we can tell because like the two worms are Fass and Vom. So what's their actual names? Oops. Can I even Can I even get out of here? I guess if I jump down into the void. Ah, I'm back up. So yeah, Fass and Vom. Who are they? Eh. Order. Is that order and chaos? Maybe. I missed Foss. Might be Order and Chaos, right? Let's find out. Is this the one? No. Is this the one? No. Is this the one? Yes. Gotcha. Order and Chaos. That's the two worms. Neat. I guess that means... Uh, uh, order is the good one, right? <laughs> Not so sure about that. Not so sure about that. But um, according to Albrecht and Trotti, like the the material world, our corporeal world, represents order, and the void represents chaos. And according to him, um, order is basically an illusion, and 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 chaos is the true power. Who knows? So, the man in the wall frightened him to the point where he no longer wanted to be reborn forever and just w would rather die. <laughs> would rather just die instead of keeping on being immortal 
because understanding what the world is actually like after having seen the void he, and what it actually is he was like i don't i don't want to be in this world anymore <laughs> all right but i think that m i'm not sure if that's the last we've seen of albrecht and trotty because it still sort of begs the question of the quest in the beginning of this, right? When we encountered that weird necromech that was attacking the heart. Who spoke to us. And like, who was that? Was that... Him? Was that Albrecht and Trotty piloting that necromech? Or did I just misunderstand what was going on? Because it felt like it was not one of the Entrati family that we know of. Who was responsible for attacking the heart. Was... Is that a lie that he didn't use continuity? Has he transferred his consciousness into uh, a necromech? Is, is that potentially it? Hmm. Now there's one last thing we have to do <clears throat> before we're done with this little trip down lower lane. And that is once you have reached max rank with everyone, uh, normally they have new greetings for you the first time you talk to them. Uh, a, a new sort of like opening voice line where you can maybe like uh, learn something new that you didn't know before. So let's see if Mother has something new to say to us. My behavior has been suboptimal, Tenno. I accept that. It has not been easy to swallow my pride and admit my mistakes. But without you... It might never have happened at all. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yes. That's nice. Goodbye. On to Lloyd. I'm not sure if we talked to Lloyd before. I think so, and I don't think he, I don't think Lloyd had anything new to say. Maybe because he just has something new to say when you max rank his faction, and I've already sort of missed it. Greetings. Yeah. May I be of assistance? Lloyd did not have anything new to say, which sort of leads credence to my theory that rank 3 might not actually be the max rank. And that they're gonna add more ranks to him later. We'll find out. Hi Kaylee. How you doing? What do you got to say to me? My father's spent years regretting what he didn't do, and my mother's spent just as long refusing to regret anything she ever did. I don't quite understand how you brought them back together, but I'm glad. And grateful. Okay, that's nice. You know where to find me. Indeed I do. I always know where to find you. Son, you're up next. So, the stranger at the family feast turned out to be the one who guided us to find one another again. There will be scars. Ugly ones. But healing too. Thank you, friend. That's nice. Like an wasn't being an edge lord for once. I appreciate that. Okay, next up, father. Tenno, working with you, it's meant a lot to me. Just having someone who, well, you get what I'm trying to say. I can hold my head up again. I see the person. I almost became. All this time, I've been blaming her for what happened, but now, maybe this was meant to be. I think I owe her an apology. What do you mean meant to be? Dude, just use continuity, okay? Just go into a new body that doesn't look like this. God, that he got it worst. He got it worst out of anyone. He looks so awful, man. Don't go getting infested now. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Hi, Granny. You got something for me? Goodness me. Look at what you did for our little family. You found a poor, lost, broken thing fallen down the back of the system. And you picked it up and worked to make it better. And thus do we thumb our nose at Master Entropy. Stitch by dogged stitch every day. That is a so quote. Work gets done. <sighs> now... Shall we sit and talk a while? That is a goddamn quote. Thus we do thumb our nose 
to entropy. <laughs> and last but not least, Otak. You're the best miner on Deimos, possibly in the whole system. Will you be my friend? I will. Oh, that's it. That's all you had to say. See you again, ship. It's the miner. Okay. Be great. Do great things. I will, Otak, for you. Hey! I'm... Uh... Otak is quite pleased to see you. That's Together, nice. We will build the future. I was damaged. Deimos damaged me. Deimos damages everything. Damn. I still think we there is more to Otak. Be great. Do great things. I think Otak so things to mine on Deimos. For instance, you can mine minerals, ores, gems, minerals. <laughs> um because like it was only supposed to be Lloyd inhabiting that body. It feels like a play of desperation. We just jammed Otak in there as well. I feel like Otak might maybe have been like a member of the family, the Entrati family, who knows? Um, who got turned into a Cephalon. Like, because why else is Lloyd just having him in there? I don't know. We'll find out. They're going to release more stuff. There's going to be content updates, uh, updates to, to Heart of Deimos. They are going to be adding uh, more stuff, possibly boss fights. We'll see if you're fighting as the worms. We'll see if Albrecht and Trotty will show up for more stuff. There's most likely going to be more stuff with the Necroid Syndicate. Um, and probably more lore. Because I, like, I think Lloyd is going to be involved with whatever lore there is. Which means we're probably going to get to learn more stuff about Otak as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be cool. Well, that, that's, the, that's the plot dump we have for now. And uh, I'll be back soon with something completely different.